my academic background is in music and in architecture. Uh, so I, I studied music since very young because my mother was teacher of music. I studied at the Gruarian Institute of Lisbon and did the advanced course of piano, but then I didn't practice the concert because I also graduated in architecture in 91 and, uh, and uh, I worked for about 25 years in architecture. Uh, I was al always interested in animation and in 2010 I received a very nice invitation from Fernando Del Rito to do an experimental film to Monster Lisbon Animation Festival and uh, I will talk about the second one that was made for, for Monster that is Composite 3. And I will also talk about my first professional film as solo, that is Four States of Matter. But I will talk mainly about the creative process behind the films and specifically about what I call the operations of abstraction. So explaining how do I uh, abstract things from different areas of knowledge uh, into the, the films. Four States of Matter is developing for acts formed by distinct graphic and sound universes uh, and it stands as a journey through the four main states of matter solid liquid gas and plasma and in each of the parts science art and religion are three conceptual dimensions and sources of inspiration the idea in this film was to focus in the molecular structure of each of the state in the solid the molecules remain very close to each other in fixed positions, in the liquid they are close to each other but they change positions, in gas they start dispersing in all directions and in the plasma state is a very energetic state where the gas is heated and the electrons split from the, the nucleus of the atoms uh, like a soup of particles. So these four concepts will structure the four parts of the film like uh, the four movements of a piece of music so the rigidity of solid then in the liquid with the same structure but the particles are not in rigid positions Then in the gas state, they, they are not close together, so they go in every direction. And finally, in the last, there's a mixture of, of many things. first level of thinking this was the structure of the film this is a vertical thinking but then there is also an horizontal thinking through time science art and religion and there would be always a triple justification for what was happening I divide it in four these fields of knowledge starting with the physics that deals with the smallest and astronomy with the, the biggest also in art I divide it in four so in physics architecture, in chemistry venture, astronomy with sculpture, and finally cinema as a confluence of all the arts. And finally in religion, Abrahamic religions, Indian religions, in guys the mythological, and in the last one the philosophy of Plato. So I will explain later how I melted all these different things. In the science and solid we have this idea of rigidity, but then also the idea of particles, so the physics. And then it evolves for the idea of molecules in the liquid state, and then to celestial objects in gas, and then to the universes in plasmas. Art has very much to do with uh, animation techniques, stop motion with solid objects, 
2D drawing, liquid and gas 3D drawing, so that we can uh, understand better this idea of dispersion, and in the last one, a mixed technique. Concerning these ideas of narratives, so the religion, the idea of the Abrahamic religions that life is linear, beginning, the middle, and an end. Indian religions where things are going cycles. In mythological, this idea of the gods and various stories that cross between each other. And the philosophy of Plato with the allegory of the caves, so two parallel worlds. So here's the general idea of the film, a film that tries to put everything together. So I had to make a lot of research, so I started reading books of science about many different matters, theory of relativity, molecules, parallel universes. So I, this time I stopped and uh, I started drawing, doing some schemes about the, the film. I would like to talk a little bit about the, the specific operations of abstraction of the film. From the dictionary, we, we get these three ideas. Mental process, a separation from a part from a whole, or a simplification or a convention of designation of something. In philosophy of art, there are many ways of looking at it. The rejection of recognizable subject matter, creation of autonomous paintings without mot motives linked to nature, and mainly the search for the essence of art in shape, color, texture, material, etc. So all these concepts I, I believe that very, very important for Pontihaya. In all these definitions, what interested me most was the idea of separating a part from a whole. So you look at the thing and you take it out of that structure, you combine it with other things that you take from other structures and you create a new universe, a new, a new thing. So the first part was made in stop motion with the different objects of metal and uh, in terms of architecture it was inspired of in this tropical house from Jean Prouvé. It's an architect that made houses that were prefabricated and it has these very beautiful panels that has these holes and we used it in the film. There is this idea of construction, pieces that are already fabricated and that start getting put in place. In this first part, architecture was the reference for the art. But in the science, it was physics. So you have particles doing movements that I abstracted from the nuclear synthesis that is thought to happen in the Big Bang. So each of these pieces of metal, they represent a particle. And when they interact with other, there is a kind of fusion and transfer of particles. I had defined that one of the narratives would be religion. So in the end, there is this idea of transforming this in a stained glass window. These four narratives, they're also accompanied by ideas in the part of music. The music of this film was made by Carlos Cais, that is a comp Portuguese composer. He developed this idea of coming through a, a granular sound to an isolated note in several steps. In the liquid state we have um, also three narratives. From chemistry, the idea of the fusion of molecules inside the star in painting. The optical art was an inspiration. And in religion, this idea of mandalas and uh, drawings of other Indian religions. In the gas state, the same idea, in this case, astronomy, sculpture, and mythological religions. Here, there is this combination of molecules that are the structural idea, but also with the celestial objects. Each of these particles that we see is also a, a kind of a representation of a celestial object. In art, the inspiration comes from sculpture and from the mobiles of uh, Calder. And then there is also a structural guide to each of these uh, 
particles is uh, astronomical objects that is also associated with the idea of uh, gods. So nothing here happens by chance. And finally, in the plasma state, it was a mix of mathematics, cinema, and the philosophy of Plato. So that those boxes that you see in science, they represent a universe, a multiple universe passing through our eyes. In art, cinema, so it's uh, like a cinema venue. And in philosophy, it's uh, like the cave of Plato, where there is one reality projected uh, in the shadow, and there are other things that uh, are happening. So... Again, three different ideas that are abstracted from their natural structure mixed together in the film. So as I told you, the first part was made in stop motion. We did a lot of experiment in trying to find materials, metal, glass, copper, magnets, acrylics. So these were some uh, images at the beginning when we tried to do it in glass, but then in, it was too complicated to get all these pieces in glass, so we ended using the acrylic. We also studied, could we mix this with light, with LEDs, pieces were cut in with these laser machines, so this is just a plate leaving the laser machine, and then we, we cut it also uh, acrylics, and then we decided to use also the cut part to as particles, and then we put some filters behind these acrylic pieces to give the colors, we had to organize everything because there was a lot of pieces so there were lots of these boxes we also used some pieces made with 3d printers and we had some support from the universidad nova in lisbon where they some of the technicians there they helped us to do these very small leds that had uh, some batteries in it and then all animation stands the animation stands usually are made in metal with light behind and we animated everything with the camera on the top and using the Dragon Frame software. These are the two animators, Bernardo and Sandra, that almost got crazy animating those little pieces and magnets. We had these uh, pieces made in uh, 3D printing with LEDs and with some batteries inside that give this with different colors of LEDs. And that's it for this film. So now I will go to the second film, Compositio 3. The idea in the opening ceremonies of Monstre is doing a film that pay a tribute to, to the guest country in each of the years. And so in 2012, the guest country was Germany. So Galrito thought that it would be interesting to get a group of architects doing a film because of Bauhaus, the famous modernist school of architecture, art and design. And also because in Germany, in the 20s, we, we get the first public screenings of uh, abstract films. And also the idea of abstract art in general, because, uh, of course, the beginning of the 20th century was very prolific in this area. So this film was made by, with uh, five directors. I was coordinating the project. There's mostly architects that haven't done animation before. So I did a general script and uh, indicated to each of the teams some artists that they should uh, they should look to to get inspiration. So in the abstract cinema, the pioneers, and then those that came after. So Oscar Fischinger was a reference for the second part. Theodor Shev with the Tower Bauer, that constructive uh, spirit film, was also a reference to the second part. And Norman McLaren with its synchrony film for the last part. The idea was that each part would uh, pay tribute to a certain movement of art. I also give to the team, to the teams, uh, different images of different architectures and uh, art forms. 
and some art references in painting and sculpture and in architecture. So in, in painting there was this idea of having uh, the expressionism as a, as a movement where you should express emotions through your animation. So this was the guidance for the first part. It was painting on glass. In the second part, so in the constructivism, there's this, this idea that the work of art is not anymore just a flat painting, but they are constructions and uh, no more this idea of the frame. So that's why the second part was made in stop motion was uh, construction with objects and then minimalism this idea of repetition and also other concepts like organicity in expressionism functionality in constructivism art has a social function and also this famous quote less is more and so all these ideas were taken by the three teams and uh, they tried to construct their abstract ideas through these uh, keywords. So in the first one, still figuration, but then plunges into abstraction. Then in constructivism, a construction with pure geometry. Finally, minimalism, the idea of repetition. I was uh, coordinating the whole project but uh, directed the third part with another architect, Miguel Simas. We were inspired in a building by Eduardo Soto Mores, a Portuguese architect, and he has this building in Porto. It's a kind of a parallel people with a proportion of three to one. All the construction of the, that minimalist part has this structure of this building. What happens, the music and the movement, was inspiring some principles of the minimal music, like linear additive process that you have a repetition process based on adding notes from a reference pattern. So we are adding things, we are constructing. So in the beginning we, be we begin with the blue, and then we start constructing things, and in the end we have very patterns and textures related to this architectural elevation. And then there is also this idea of block additive process, a process of replacing rests by bits in a gradually non-linear way. In the visuals also you have empty spaces that are filled with images. Then there is this idea of textural additive process, adding spaces one by one until you complete a texture. And finally, pattern overlay, the overlaying different rhythmic and melodic patterns over a uniform pulse. As you notice, there is a pulse, so a line is going tuk 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 tuk. So everything is constructed inside of this pulse. So the building has one characteristic, one of the sides has these window glasses, but then the other is like an inverse. So where you have glass, now you have a, a solid panel. So it starts with a pattern that is more related with the windows and then ends in a pattern that is more linked to the side of the building, that is more opaque than minimalist music. So minimal music shoots are, are long lasting because they have to, to get time to create this mood, this, uh, this idea of repetition to exhaustion. There are no abrupt changes, everything constructs gradually. That's what we try to do in the visuals. There is an intense rhythmic activity and uh, a timbre homogeneity, simple harmonic palette and structures. So there's a slow harmonic rhythm, the absence of melodic lines. 
uh, continuous rhythm flow and the repetition of patterns from the beginning of the end. So that's how we try to mix architecture music in this animation and doing an interpretation. So abstracting concepts and structures, ideas, features from architectural buildings, constructing the, mu the music and the sound with music established ideas. And of course, we had the, the help of the musician, Karsh Karsh, to give us ideas. And finally, just to show you the storyboard, this was all done in, in computer, in After Effects of Premiere. And uh, I think I finish here the talk. Thank you very much. Yeah.